We would like to start with a question. Are energy and electricity the same thing? When we think of energy generation in Canada, we think of oil, natural gas, nuclear, wind, solar, coal, and hydroelectric. Energy is a loose term to cover all facets that make our society function and can be broken up into four groups. Electricity, heating, fuel, and industrial. 43% of the energy we use is electricity for running our electronics and lighting our homes and businesses. Electricity is produced from hydroelectric dams, nuclear power plants, renewables, and coal or natural gas plants. A further 18% of energy is used for heating, of which the majority comes from burning natural gas in furnaces in homes and buildings. Another 30% of the energy we use is in the form of fuels for cars, trucks, and planes, which are only synthesized from oil. No other form of energy can efficiently make these fuels, thus, Oil has no commercial substitute. Only by replacing cars with electric cars will the need for oil go down. The last 9% of energy is used for Canadian industries. Coal is used in the making of steel, natural gas has many applications, and oil is used to make a great number of petrochemicals like plastics, solar panels, clothes, roads, and more. The difference between energy and electricity is an important distinction. Which energy form goes into our electricity bills? When you read an article about energy, is it talking about energy or just electricity? It is surprising that information sources do not make this distinction. Every energy source is different, each with their own obstacles to overcome for a low emission future. The distinction between energy and electricity is important and allows for a more understandable dialogue between consumers, government, and energy providers. Energy Minute's goal is to dispel misinformation and foster science-based conversations about energy. If you want to see more, please subscribe, hit like, and send us your feedback. We love to hear it.